Hello, welcome to your five-day Mohawk Valley forecast. I try to bring you the most accurate, educational, fun forecast, the most dangerous forecast you can find. Nah, I'm just teasing about that one. That's what they told me to say, my intern. Meanwhile, you can like Weathertainment on Facebook. There's a Weathertainment fan page. Search that out and like it and get even more from yours truly. And you always want to bookmark cnyweathertainment.com so you always have access to the most accurate forecast you can find. Quiet weather until Monday evening. After 6 o'clock, all bets are off because foul weather is moving in Monday night into Tuesday. I think about 2 to 4 inches of snow and sleet before a change over to freezing rain early Tuesday morning, and then all bets are off thereafter. It turns colder at the end of January. I've been mentioning that for a good five days now. And the end of January is pretty much at the end of the week coming up. So, the numbers are slowly going down. 42 is the warmest on Monday. Partly sunny, but clouding up late in the day with snow at night. Snow, sleet, early Tuesday morning, sleet, rain, or freezing rain the rest of Tuesday. An unrelated storm brings us a few showers on Wednesday, but I think it's mainly rain. And then the lake effect machine starts on Thursday and keeps on going in periods or waves from Thursday through Sunday. So the transition is going to happen again, where it turns colder and snowier after a relatively lengthy break of winter weather. And wasn't this weekend something with highs both days above 50? Two areas of lower pressure being suppressed to our south by that high over Ontario, Ontario, Canada. That high is nosing down some coolish but dry air, forcing these to keep moving out to sea. Now, as they move out to sea, they will increase the cloud cover Monday afternoon, setting the stage for Monday night, where that storm that's rotating over Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi moves along this warm frontal boundary and then up the coast. And as that happens... It pushes moisture that you can plainly see in the south. See all of that across Tennessee and all of the southern Gulf Coast states? There's us up here in New York State, just a few patchy clouds, not really related to any storms. These two storms will press their moisture in our direction Monday afternoon and evening, but it's really this one that brings the hammer down. And that's where all the heaviest moisture is. You can see it rotating. There's a big old storm down there, and that is going to move right up through the Delmarva, Central Jersey, and Southeastern New York State. And the snow will start flying here Monday evening after 6 o'clock and then go to about 2 to 4 inches before sleet starts mixing in and then Tuesday morning is a problem. But the radar for New York State is quiet in the short term. Ergo headline number one. Meanwhile, Sunday turned out 51, which was 3 above my forecast high. A trace from a sunny shower. This number has not changed in almost two weeks, but this number's changing. We're gaining in the morning and in the evening. We picked up over six minutes over the weekend, and we're going to gain two more minutes of daylight on Monday. So that's good news. Nine hours, 38 minutes, and climbing. CNYWeathertainment.com has a great partner page. These are businesses that want your business, and you support Weathertainment when you purchase through the website. Monday's forecast just mostly cloudy. You could call it partly sunny. The brighter part of the day has to be the mid-morning to early afternoon hours because after 3 or 4 o'clock, heavy clouds move in. High temperature, about 42 with a cool northeast wind. The snow sets in after dark Monday evening. Snow, then sleet, about 2 to 4 inches. Low temperatures, about 28 with a cool northeast wind. Tuesday, a north wind with sleet and then freezing rain and then hopefully just plain rain or drizzle petering out in the afternoon. High temperature, three dozen cousin. So the numbers are going down. It's inclement Monday night, Tuesday, again on Wednesday in the form of a few rain showers, and then the lake effect machine starts generating snow showers Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with colder weather moving in. That is your five-day Mohawk Valley forecast, whatever the forecast, whether it's this or this. It's always up to you to make it a great day.